Welcome to the bold analysis. As the Mwela Umoja team are telling William Ruto that we will conduct protests for three consecutive days. Wednesday, probably Thursday and Friday. And you can see the manner of propaganda in the stories about it. It is the usual rhetoric about um, the protests. And in response to that, Kithuri Kiendiki, who has stood his ground that the protests are allowed, but he is saying they must be conducted uh, in 12 hours. So for protesters, there is a dawn to dusk curfew. And he is saying very clearly that the protests can, should only be conducted by during the day. And so they're going to be loud. I welcome this move that the protests be conducted during the day. Because what I always know, and uh, I think that's one thing I've always realized, that the protest that runs in the night is no longer about a protest. The constitution talks about the day. The one one is normally a looting syndicate. It's a looting syndicate that happens. And of course, that's where the police normally uh, crosses the line with the protesters. So I totally agree with that. But in this podcast, there is uh, something that uh, has really puzzled government. That Raila is very daring. That Azimula Umoja by extension is very daring. What is it that has made them that courageous, despite the fact that government has tried to even say they are going to arrest Raila Odinga, that Raila Odinga should be arrested. Number two, they have also tried to make a statement, apart from arresting Raila, they have also spoken about uh, uh, the fact that they will, I don't to take him to ICC. There have been a lot of other attempts, but one thing has remained that Raila has remained daring. There was a lot of fear on what, trying to inflict fear on protesters, but that has failed terribly. So the question that many people ask, and even those in government are asking, why is Raila daring? Because the Wednesday, the second phase of the protests have not actually been very, uh, has been very lethal. And while you look at how people are reacting and what exactly is happening in this country, things are not standing well. Things are not well, as many would expect. In this prison, I think the government, the responsibility rests with government. I once said that William Ruto needs to pull a surprise card. I know you cannot fix the cost of living, but there are things you can fix and let the public understand. If it is the resumption of, if it is the resumption of bipartisan talks, which I don't believe should be there, you need a radical solution for things affecting Kenyans. You need policy reversal. But the moment state uh, officers come out to chest thump saying, we are not bulging no matter what. I don't think it's very healthy and it's going to help us get a solution. On this one, we need a solution that is binding. We need to bring everyone on board and understand that while we have our differences, but we can work towards a common goal. And the Wednesday call by Azimula Moja is a big headache for William Ruto Kithire Kindiki because of this. Number one, truth be told, the protest has the potential of running into the night. It has that. So what about it? If people protest during the day, the last protest I understand, I have a, a very good friend of mine, the police officers who are there, and they actually said that um, in Mali, prot protests rain into the night, up to around seven. 
around, um, where was this? Around, uh, in some parts of Nairobi, protests went into the night until eight. People were lighting bonfires. So because of that, it has a potential, a big risk of running into the night. How about if it runs into the night? If it runs into the night, it turns to be a revenge mission. Because if, you, if, if there is it and you unleash goods, you never know. Politics is very dirty. And even, there are many enemies of William Ruto that are not even Raila Odinga. In fact, Raila Odinga is not an enemy of William Ruto. I don't think. It's the people of Kenya and many other forces. <clears throat> there are many forces that are not comfortable. How about if the forces play illicit transactions at night and the things get out of hand? Now, imagine three days consecutive. If you do three days, it runs into the night, there is a fear element. And when people fear, people fail to work on Wednesday, people fail to work on Thursday, people work to work, work, work on Friday. This is because of fear. Now, what happens? Try to imagine of that person who has not worked. Will that person blame Azimio La Umoja or they will blame government? And even after blame game, what will going to happen? It has, it's a big risk and it has to be managed. I think even both on Azimio's side and the government side. But the only people that can do ceasefire is government. Because the person protesting here is no longer Raila. The person protesting here is the Kenyan. So at the end of it, you must, you must get a tangible solution. It, it cannot be the business as usual. Uh, and that is why uh, some of us have actually been insisting that um, while government is right uh, and government seems to be getting it right, but they need to get it. Number two, you can shut this economy. I don't know what to think. You can shut this economy. It has a potential of shutting the economy. We, 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 we need to look at it in all perspectives. Three days, government is not collecting any tax. You know, what will happen? And you know, we are in this month and already it has been done. If three days and government is collecting taxes for that one day, already three days gone. There was another one day, two days have also been up Numa. Those are five, 26. Government will go back to borrow. And so if they also see this possibility, it is something that you have to look at. Now, when it is done, there is no movement. Even movement of goods, because let's say there are imports from this country that are coming from Mombasa that are supposed to be brought to Nairobi and to other parts. All these trailers are stuck. They're supposed to move goods to Tanzania and to other countries. And now they cannot move. What, what do you mean? What, do, what will happen? They will, redirect, they will change route and head to Tanzania. And when they change to Tanzania, government will lose taxes in terms of what the collections they are getting from those who are using Kenyan routes to move their imports to other East African countries. So that is another thing you cannot underestimate, the potential of the protest shutting the economy. It can shut the economy and it can bring it completely to a standstill. So that is the other reason. And number two, or rather lastly, the protests have always been confined to the Kenyan context. And government have always wanted to show or rather to say that those who are protesting are those only from Kenya. It seems to be getting uh, attention from here. You have suppressed the Kenyan media. They are no longer covering those protests and they are falling into the trap of the protests are illegal. And probably they have also been a behind the scene talks to ensure that um, it's given a blackout. But what about the international media? The international media is covering and is telling the country what exactly is happening. So the moment it attracts that attention, the country is becoming caged to understand that this is happening. Now, after three days, what might actually happen if the crisis continues, the solution can never be about arrest Ray Lodinga. If it was about arresting Ray Lodinga, then the truth of the matter here is, after 2017, people would have been arrested. Uh, not 2017, people, after 2007, people would have been arrested. 
no one was arrested on the other end. In 2017, Raila even did a mock swearing in. He was never arrested. In fact, at the end of the day, he got a handshake. So for those who believe very well, this is a big shocker. The international, it, the moment it attracts international attention, there'll be pressure from all. Remember, 15 heads of states will be in this country um, this week, the coming week. And following it, what is happening, it, they will actually need a call for ceasefire or call for solution. So ladies and gentlemen, that's my take and thank you very much.